a group of researchers from around the globe discovered an exoplanet the size of Earth that orbits in the star's habitable zone using newly analyzed data from NASA's Kepler Satellite Observatory. In this region, a rocky planet may have enough water to maintain liquid water. This video will tell you the findings from this discovery. Stay with us. The Discovery A group of researchers from around the globe discovered an exoplanet the size of Earth that orbits in the star's habitable zone using newly analyzed data from NASA's Kepler Satellite Observatory. In this region, a rocky planet may have enough water to maintain liquid water. Scientists found the planet Kepler-1649c when they looked through old data from the telescope, which was taken out of service by the space agency in 2018. Researchers looking at Kepler data took a second look at the signature because a computer algorithm had misread it the first time it was looked at. Then they figured out it was a planet. Figure it out! Sometimes NASA also gets fooled. Are they certain these are planets? Find out later as we explore how NASA rechecks for false positivity. This planet is 300 light years away from Earth. In terms of size and predicted temperature, it is the most like Earth of all the exoplanets that Kepler found. This new planet is only 1.06 times the size of our world. Also, the amount of light it gets from its host star is 75% of what Earth receives from the Sun. This suggests that the exoplanet's temperature may also be similar to Earth's. But it goes around a red dwarf and not Earth. Even though no life has been seen in this system, this type of star is known to have flare-ups that could make a planet's environment unsuitable for life. Thomas Zerbigan, Assistant Administrator of NASA's Science Mission Directorate in Washington says, This interesting faraway world gives us even more hope that a second Earth is waiting to be found among the stars. Every year, scientists get better at looking for exciting planets. Subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications for more detailed news like this. As a result, missions like Kepler and our Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS, will continue to lead to amazing discoveries. New discoveries suggest another... What's known so far? The atmosphere of Kepler-1649c is still a mystery, and it may affect the planet's temperature. When astronomers look at planets so far away, they have a lot of room for error in their measurements, including the planet's size. Astrobiologists are most interested in rocky planets that circle red dwarf stars. Before figuring out if this planet will likely have a life like ours, astrobiologists need to know much more about it. But now that we know more, Kepler-1649c is especially interesting for people looking for planets that might be able to support life. Other exoplanets, like TRAPPIST-1f, and according to some math, t Garden c are thought to be bigger and more like Earth in size. Some, like TRAPPIST-1d and TOI-700d, may have temperatures more like those on Earth. But there doesn't seem to be another exoplanet closer to Earth in all of these ways and in the habitable zone of its star system. Andrew Vanderberg, a researcher at the University of Texas at Austin and the first author of the paper, said, Of all the wrongly named planets we've found, this one is the most exciting, not just because it's in the habitable zone and the size of Earth, but also how it might interact with its other planet. We would have missed it if we hadn't looked over the algorithm's work by hand. Because Kepler-1649c orbits its tiny red dwarf star so closely, a year there is only 19.5 Earth days long. Another rocky planet in the system is about the same size as Kepler-1649c, but it orbits its star at about half the distance that Kepler-1649c does. This is similar to how Venus orbits the Sun at about half the distance from Earth. Planets like this one may be more widespread than we realize, given that red dwarf stars are among the most prevalent in the cosmos. Looking for false positives an algorithm dubbed RoboVetter was created by Kepler mission researchers in California's Silicon Valley to aid in sorting through the massive volumes of data the Kepler spacecraft returned. Kepler used the transit method to find planets. He looked at stars and looked for changes in brightness when planets went in front of their host stars. Most of the time, the dips are caused by things other than planets, like natural changes in the brightness of a star or the passage of other celestial objects, which make it look like a planet is there when there isn't one. RoboVetter's job was to determine which of the 12% dips were real planets. The signatures that the RoboVetter found from different sources were called false positives, which is the term for a test result that was wrongly marked as positive. Besides finding new planets, 
Kepler has provided a lot of other discoveries too, like how diverse solar systems are too. We'll tell you more later. Astronomers thought that because there were so many complex signals, the algorithm would make mistakes and need to be checked. The Kepler False Positive Working Group should have done this. This group looks at RoboVetter's work and contains all false positives to make sure they are just mistakes and not actual exoplanets. This way, fewer discoveries are missed. It turns out that RoboVetter put the wrong name on Kepler-1649c. This realization shows how important it is to double-check automated work. Even as scientists try to make analysis procedures even more automated to get as much research as possible from each data set. Even though Kepler stopped collecting data from the original Kepler field, studied from 2009 to 2013, this careful investigation found one of the most similar planets to Earth. Other discoveries from Kepler mission. As a result of the discoveries made by NASA's Kepler mission, our scientific comprehension of where we stand in the universe underwent a sea change. Planets outnumber the stars. Did you hear what NASA's new slogan will be once their budget is cut? NASA, the sky's the limit. The discovery that our galaxy contains more planets than stars was made possible by Kepler, and the implications of this finding for the scientific comprehension of our position in the universe are profound. Small planets are common. In the habitable zone of their parent stars, where water might pool on the planet's surface, 20 to 50% of the stars in the sky are expected to have minor, potentially rocky planets similar in size to Earth. This finding comes from the most recent examinations of Kepler's observations. Earth-sized worlds are abundant in our galaxy, as Kepler has demonstrated. This result was obtained after it was found that 20 to 50% of the stars in the sky are likely to host minor, possibly rocky planets. Before we can decide which of them may support life, we still have a lot to learn. Planets are diverse. We now have more options thanks to Kepler's discovery of various planet types. We still have a lot to learn about planets of this size, which Kepler found to be a world between the size of Earth and Neptune, which doesn't exist in our solar system. Solar systems are diverse too. Kepler found systems with up to eight planets orbiting close to their parent stars, and our solar system has only four planets in its inner part. When it comes to how solar systems form, there are questions about whether planets are born close to the stars that made them, or if they form further away and then move closer. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you found it engaging. If you still have time, we suggest you watch this video. It's reality. Scientists finally discovered first ever white hole for more interesting scientific discoveries. We'll see you some other time.